What's up guys, Christian here with River Pools, and today on Two Minutes in the Pool, we're gonna be talking about patio material, specifically pavers versus stamped concrete. This is Two Minutes in the Pool. <laughs> Okay, if at the end of this video you found the information helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel by hitting the red button down below, follow us on Facebook by hitting the thumbs up or the follow button, wherever that is, follow us on Instagram as well for more educational pool content from us here at River Pools. Now, we're talking about pavers versus stamped concrete. I'm going to set a two minute timer on my phone and try to finish this topic and give you the answer before the timer goes off. Sometimes. I win, you know, sometimes I don't. Hey Siri, set a two minute timer. Your timer is set for two minutes. There she goes, thank you very much. Okay, first and foremost, we're gonna take a look at stamped concrete. The two materials, stamped concrete and pavers, are both relatively affordable, they look very nice, and are both incredibly durable. So these are two fantastic options to finish off the pool patio in your pool installation project. So stamped concrete, we're looking at a price range of about $12 to $16 per square foot, maybe slightly higher depending on your region in the country. Now there are many patterns to choose from, but basically what we're looking at is the ability to have concrete mimic the natural look of various stone materials like slate or flagstone. You could even get a pattern to mimic the look of brick pavers. So how is this done? Well. Typical concrete is mixed with a color, poured down into the pool deck, and then a release agent, a powder of sorts, is uh, placed out on top of the concrete, and then a stamping pattern is put down and tamped down to produce that look and stamp that pattern down into the concrete. Once that is pulled up, voila, stamped or textured concrete is in place. Now, stamped concrete needs to be sealed immediately and it needs to be resealed every few years. So the upside is that you can get a variety of patterns into your concrete. You can get a very high-end look for a relatively lower budget. The downside is that with concrete, you're guaranteed to have cracks at some point. Now your concrete contractor is gonna put some control joints in there and hopefully the cracks occur there. But there's really only two guarantees with concrete. One, cracking is going to occur and two, if somebody steals it, you're going to know about it. All right, let's take a look at pavers. Now, pavers, if I could find my notes, stamped concrete pavers are going to cost anywhere from $16 to $24 per square foot, maybe slightly higher, depending on the material you choose. It beat me this time. I'm not having a good streak on this. Pavers are going to cost anywhere from $16 to $24 per square foot, maybe a little more depending on your region of the country and, of course, the paver material you choose. But the good thing, the good side, the upside about pavers is that they're not going to crack. As long as they're installed properly, cracking is not going to occur. And so you're going to get a very durable finish. Uh, there's no slipping on the surface. It's very easy to maintain. Another advantage is that if repairs are needed with your pavers, that can be done without ever noticing that a repair was performed on your patio deck. The downside is that weeds can grow through if it's not installed properly or settling can occur, again, if it's not installed properly. So which one do I like? Well, it's like asking if I like pie or ice cream. Yes, I like them both. There's different advantages to having one over the other. Uh, you need to consider things like integration into your existing landscaping or into your existing features on your home. And some homeowners are even choosing a combination of the two because they like the way it looks in tandem out on the pool deck. I'm Christian with River Pools. Check out the link in the description below. It's down here for YouTube. It's up there for Facebook. We'll see you in the next episode of Two Minutes in the Pool. Catch the wave.